Han. So, um, to begin before we start, before you start drawing here, um, what got you into um, art and digital artwork and all that stuff? Oh man, um, I've been I've been drawing since you know fourth grade, um, but really comic books. Um, I just try to you know copy and and redraw those panels that I loved as a kid. Um, they just intrigued me and and my love for drawing from you know grew from there. Um, I remember drawing. I tried to draw every character I could from Marvel Comics, you know. Then I'd cut them out and and play with them as a you know, as a little kid. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of like paper dolls. I don't know, but it was super fun. Uh, that sounds pretty fun. I mean, um, <laughs> do you remember who like your first Marvel character that you drew was for that? Oh wow, um, as probably the classics like Spider Man. I'm sure. Nice. Fantastic. Nice. But, uh, it was pretty much everything. And, you know, in fifth and sixth grade, I started making, you know, my own characters, which really were just copies of Marvel characters, you know, because that's all I knew. I, I was so into that. And I was just like regurgitating <laughs> their stuff, uh, trying to make it my own. So to begin, um, how long have you been doing art for? Ooh, um, probably as long as I can remember. Um, if anything, I've kind of got into art, like, seriously, like, really invested into drawing around my freshman-ish, sophomore-ish year. Um, I think that's around that time. I was just watching a lot of anime. <laughs> I think that's pretty as common, one right? Usually, as one usually does when they're in high school. Right. Um, I just, I was watching a lot of anime and, um, I just got inspired. I just, um, I think I was 14 or 15. I just got a sketchbook and I just started sketching things out like crazy. Um, and it just, it, it went from there. Um, I had a DeviantArt account and I just, you know, I was posting a lot on there and then I took art classes and I kind of just, I drew a lot in high school. Um, now, um, not as much as I, as I would like to <laughs> these days, you know, <laughs> that kind of thing. Um, yeah, I just, if, yeah. Now, when you started, you said you're drawing an, alp an alpaca. Is that an, is that a bow tie? It is a bow tie. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody that knows me knows I love, I love llamas and alpacas. Um, let's see. I love, <laughs> yes. Um, I love goats. And I love dogs. <laughs> but right. alpacas, though, I got like a bunch of plushies and <laughs> loved animals in here. And, and my lunch bag for work is covered in alpacas. So <laughs> started how long they've been doing this and all the other, you know, fun stuff. So, you know, people can learn about your work. Um, so to begin, how long have you been doing this for? Um, you mean like as a convention artist or as an artist in general? As an artist in general. Uh, well, it's kind of where my like name started. I have crooked pinky fingers. It's, I mean, later on as I researched it, it's called clinodactyly, which is basically a trait that causes a like slight bend in pinky fingers that affects about 3% of the of the world population so it's basically like a cool birthmark that's pretty generic but i was always told growing up that i was related to an artist um a famous watercolor artist named charles birchfield who also had crooked pinky fingers so because i had crooked pin crooked pinky fingers oh my gosh i'm making fun of you for getting the name of your show <laughs> I'm the name. that's all right um, because I had crooked pinky fingers that I was going to be creative and artistic. So it was kind of something that was always embedded in me. And, um, I mean, kind of the rest is history. So I've... You know, you're currently whatever you're drawing at the moment. Um, so to begin, um, how long have you been doing this for? Um, I've done traditional artwork most of my life. You know, like in high school and stuff, I've always kind of been that kid that everyone goes to for you know doodling class and stuff but within the last since the pandemic started really i've decided to just kind of get into more digital artwork um 
started using my iPad instead of just using it as like a TV as a drawing tablet instead. I mean, I know a lot of people usually use their tablets anyway because it's cheaper than just buying a art tablet. Yeah, absolutely. You know, that was kind of part of the decision making when it came to getting um, an art tablet was looking at the price of like a Wacom tablet versus just outright buying an iPad. Plus, I'm sure, um, you know, it's easier to just to download the art program. I um, mean, you said you're using Procreate for today? Yeah. I, yeah. Uh, how long have you been using Procreate for? Uh, since I've had the iPad, so since about 2019, I would say. Nice. And who are you drawing today? Um, No one in specific, honestly, just doodling some random person i guess if it looks like somebody then that works out <laughs> nice so um what got you into the, uh wanted to do this really just looking at other people's artwork and seeing the kind of mostly made up <laughs> nice. so um to begin how long have you been doing this for i've been drawing for so long um I'd say, like, I really started getting into it when I was in middle school, so, like, maybe around 11, 12, so that puts it at, like, over a decade, like, 15 maybe or so. Wait, how long? You said 15? About 15. 15 yeah. years? That's a fairly long time. Just really been into it <laughs> <laughs> um so what made you want to get into art uh, i think it's just like i just being able to take my imagination and just make it into something tangible and to be able to share it and of course like the story part of you know making a piece of artwork and just like using visuals tell a story and just let whoever's looking at it make their own interpretation i just always thought that was a cool concept about uh conceptual art specifically nice well childlike like how she it. did like how she did back in the 80s yeah yes nice um uh before we continue on with this how long have you been doing art for all together all together, um, I started doing art when I was roughly about 10. Um, I just really enjoyed um, art in general. Um, I always found it attractive. Um, and then uh, my brother brought home a graphic novel uh, called Elf Quest, and the art in it is just so vibrant and beautiful that I couldn't resist copying it. Nice. Um, my walls used to be filled with tracing <laughs> paper. <laughs> um, was that your very first um, art you did? Was uh, from the book Elf Quest? Pretty much, yeah. It started with Elf Quest, um, longtime Disney lover. So I would sit there and watch Disney movies over and over again. So I loved Disney stuff. Um, but what actually got me to pick up a pencil to draw was ElfQuest. And then it of course. So um, how long have you been doing makeup for? See, I, I knew you were going to start with that question. And I was trying to think, like, <laughs> you know, where did it start? Um, because... Like, I've been drawing since I can hold a pencil. And then I started playing around with makeup, you know, in my teens. But I didn't do it for, you know, other than looking pretty. Um, and then I was, I think it's in community college. Like, that's whenever I started getting inspired by, like, theater makeup uh, application. Like, I love the special effects and, you know, just completely transforming how a person looks. So I've been doing makeup with the intent of, like, you know the art and creativity side for at least i mean at least 10 years i think at this point so been doing it for a long time that's that sounds like you've definitely been doing it for a long time 
Um, I will have to say though, before I ask more questions, I think your Mass Effect, the Mass Effect makeup you've done, would that is that on yourself or friends of yours? That uh, so some of it's on myself and some of it is on friends. <laughs> um, I think I started doing the character makeups exclusively on myself because I started doing that during you know lockdown. Um, so I only had myself. <laughs> um, Everything. Um, so to begin, how long have you been doing makeup for? Um, so in terms of, I've, okay, so <laughs> I got into cosplay before I got into what I would call being more of like a makeup artist, right? So I got into cosplay in 2012. Um, and then I got into um, makeup and especially SFX makeup in 20, I believe it was 2016 or 2017 in that time frame. So five, six, seven years, roughly? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what year is it? I'm we're, 2020, uh, we're 2022. Oh, now. no, please. Um, so what made you want to get into uh, being a makeup artist, especially uh, special effects makeup? Okay, so uh, when I was in college, um, a little show called Voltron Legendary Defender came out. On Netflix. On Netflix. I yes. remember. I, remember I haven't finished it, but I, I'm I'm fully familiar with the don't. show. Don't just don't don't finish it. Just let it live as it is in your memory. Dear um, Lord. but anyway, so in I think it was like season three or something. There were some characters in there that were the alien race that is in the show, and my friend at the time who had gotten into body paint way earlier. Uh, was like oh my god we should do these specific characters they're really cool and she's like there's specifically one that i've been told i look a lot like i want to do her and i'm like great so i was looking at it and all of the other characters they're all different colors you know i've never done body paint before and out of the three remaining characters left for this group um one of them was huge and had this really elaborate wig that i did not have the confidence to do at the time so to begin, how long have you been doing? Uh, how long have you been a makeup artist for, and how long have you been doing makeup for? Um, I've been doing makeup since I, geez, probably eleven or twelve is when I really started getting into doing real makeup. Um, and that was ten years ago, eleven years ago. Um. And I started really getting into it, especially for cosplay, also around that time. Um, and I started professionally training two years ago. Nice. So what has been, what has been like uh, doing makeup professionally for the past two years? Um, it's been interesting. It's been difficult right now. Um, I haven't had a whole lot of opportunities to find stable makeup gigs because of the pandemic um but i've really been making a lot of personal efforts to improve my skills um so that's been really nice just having a lot of time to myself to uh, improve how i would like to improve nice now uh, uh doing makeup for and how long have you been a makeup artist for well um I guess my I, I tried to make like a timeline to try to like explain this question because as I knew this is like a would be a question you would ask me. Um, so I started doing community theater when I was six, um, and that is kind of the like springboard into everything that I do now, uh, in one way or another. Um, uh, so like when I was six, I wasn't doing like anything like crazy makeup wise. We probably weren't wearing any makeup at all, but like gradually in that, like in that community theater space, that's where I, I started doing, uh, started doing makeup. So it was kind of a gradual thing. Uh, but that puts it at more or less, uh, 20 years, <laughs> um, but not anything on the level, uh, that I do now, uh, any more recently than, um, uh, than, than like five to six seven years ago so you've been doing this since like the early 2000s then uh yes <laughs> uh yeah um that would have been uh uh yeah it would have been uh uh 2001 i guess is when i uh yeah 2001 when i uh started doing uh community theater um 
and yeah, like I said, that's kind of the like if you know, like the butterfly effect thing. That's the thing that like definitely uh, has in- influenced everything in my life now. <laughs>